Hi, I'm Kai, and today we want to talk about reverse engineering. What I mean with that? Well, we as electrical designer always need to prepare a lot of data. The end customer want to get the proper documentation, the panel builder want to get the cutouts, the drilling pattern for the mounting plate and the connection list to wire the panel, and the programmer wants to get the hardware configuration and the I.O. list from us. Everything needs to be done by us. But this time, we think about the opposite way. Maybe you work in a company where a programmer has already started with a project and has already set up the hardware configuration and maybe the I.O. list. And this we will use in our electrical drawing to create our drawings automatically with the automation ML exchange. For my channel members, I will give you the automation ML file, which I show later in this video for free on the community tab of my channel. So now have a look how it works. Okay, let's start to get the data out of our TR portal. So I have opened here the device and network um, overview. And here you can see I have a CPU, HMI, ET200 SP and two Cinemix G120C drives. Um, yeah, the HMIs are not supported in the moment from the automation ML standard, I guess. So this is not possible to export, but the other things should be possible. So to use the AML export, we go to Tools and Export CAX data. Then we need to give our uh, file a name and yeah, a location where you want to save it. And this is exactly the file you will get on the Community tab next week. So we save it. And now the TR portal export the hardware configuration and the I.O. list. This is something we want to use now in ePlan and therefore in ePlan I have yeah, created an empty project. There is only the title page available and I have here the PLC navigator. And now we go to file and import to the project data PLC data and here we need to select our file, click on open and then we need to select the format of import file. I keep it here as PLC standard exchange format, but you also can select, for example, your TIA portal version. So my language is German, sorry for this. And I will show you later a little bit about the start generation PLC schematic, what this is. This is something we can also use later. Um, some hidden function in eBlan, which is very useful. So let's click on OK. And now you may get a message that some parts are missing. In this case, it's, it's uh, just a skeleton. If you have just one part, you can cancel here, go to the data portal and import it. If you have more, maybe it's better to use the data portal in your browser and search here for the file and add it to your download list. And when you go back to ePlan, and you have added all the parts to your do download list, you can see in the data portal that it's synchronized with the browser version. And in the download list, you maybe have the full list of all devices and then can just import it. This is, in my opinion, a quicker way to do. So anyhow, we want to import now the PLC data and I ignore this message now because it's just the uh, skeletons and click OK. And now when you open the PLC Navigator, you can find it under Device and here under PLC Navigator, you will see that we have the ET200 station, we have the main station, the S7-1500, and we have two drives. And when we add now a new page, we need to change it, for example, to the overview, and we give a name here. and select some function and location and also the document type, um, the overview function is EFA for example, uh, EF, EFA for example, and we start with page one. So we click OK and we add another page 
This should be the multi-line drawing. And we add this to the document type EFS page one. On the overview page, now we can, for example, yeah, use the PLC here as an overview. With tab on your keyboard, you can switch between the variants. Uh, but we will use the input card, for example, this one. Start with the input 0, 0.0. And when we put this here on our page, yeah, we can also use the tab a button on our keyboard to switch between the variants and as you can see here maybe need to move it a little bit you can see that you have all the informations from the tier portal this is the input this is the card this is the symbolic address and this is the function text so when we go now to the plc overview you can also place, for example, the PLC here and the next card next to it and so on. I think this is clear and also place later on somewhere our input card. So I add now a new page, just call it two and uh, just to represent an input. I use now the input 0, 0.0 and when we have a look maybe you want to change the symbol you can click the backspace button on your keyboard and change the symbol the symbol is in the ic so we want to have this one and place it so normally you will have the function text here below but from the import of the aml the function text is in the input itself here on the function text. Sorry, it's a German word. It basically means that the emergency stop is OK. And here we want to change something. What we want to do is that we call it emergency stop one. So we add just the one. Um, maybe the programmer has done something wrong or we have changed something in our um, plant or machine. And now we have done some changes. What we want to do now is that we want to give these changes to our programmer so that he don't need to rework the function text. So we go to the PLC navigator and here we go to device and here to PLC to the assignment list. We sort here the PLC address and have a look on the PLC address input 0, 0.0 and you can see that here is already node halt Eins, what means emergency stop one. So we can export. So here you can also se select a file name and you need to find the place where you want to save it. I use my desktop. Zuli means the German word for Zuordnungsliste. I add here YouTube and you can also define different data types. I keep it as it is and click on save. So now everything is ready here and we can go to our tier portal and PLC tags. We can see this list and we can now go to import and select here our file and click OK. So you see that the import was completed successful and we have here the comment note halt 1, what means emergency stop 1 on the input 0, 0.0. So when we go back to our multi-line drawing for sure when you have the data ready you can also add for example your frequency drive here this is also two different variants in the macro so this is the power part and this is the control part you can use it from here and what i want to show you was also the um, secret function which is called generate schematic 
you can see nothing here and I also want not to dive into this function too deep in this video because I have already done a video. The link for this I put you below in the video description and you can watch it now after this video. So if you have further questions about the AML interface with the TR portal, please write it down in the comments. I try to answer it soon. If you like this video, please drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. I recommend you to watch this video and hope to see you in the next video. Bye.